Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the first. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. That is outstanding. And snatches a birdie as well. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Opting for the five wood. This one might need to sit. You like that, didn't you? Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? He's got about 26 feet, as far as I can tell. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. Okay, let's head to the next. He's currently tied for fourth. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Good looking shot this. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Looks like they've got the five wood. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Just six feet between here and the hole.
Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Third shot now. Unbelievable shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Teeing off here at the fourth. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This shot from about 190 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Going with the six iron here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I'd say about 24 feet to the cup from here. This would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. Trailing by seven after that hole. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Looks to be a fair way finder to me. <laughs> Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Opting for the six iron. Come on, get down. Good shot there. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, guys, he's got about 22 feet to the cup.
well done. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Time to tee off at the sixth. Going with the five iron here. Just needs this one to kick right. Uh, this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation. It's a thing of beauty. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens in regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. And that should secure the par. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the seventh. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Might well, be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Have one more look at that shot. He's currently sitting in third place. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Nothing quite like an eagle at the last. Almost as good as a shrimp on the barbie. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway.
lining up from around 160 yards. Four shots behind our leader. Going with the eight iron here. Well struck. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Big chance here. And down she goes from outside the range. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Now three strokes back after that hole. And after a bird at the last, they take the honour on the hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Well played, mate. Four feet to the cup. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Teeing off here at the 11th. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff.
Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Going with the seven. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Good putt, that. Just one off the lead after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That one was fired out of a cannon. <laughs> Playing from around 190 yards out. Just a stroke behind the leader. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Outstanding approach shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Putting for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. It's on a great line. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Second shot here on the 13th. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Just three feet to the cup. Looking good. And that's eight birdies today. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Looks to be going with the six iron. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. This is a good chance. 
Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Now leading by one shot. You've arrived at a par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? What a bad line, this one. I love seeing stuff like that. Absolutely sets himself up for an eagle on this hole. Steady on. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Well hold. Now that finds him in first place. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Coming off a string of five birdies. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. This punt is about 17 feet long. Okay, steady now. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one.
Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Well, this should find the short grass. <laughs> uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Oh, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this part for top spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. And with that, this round comes to a close. And as this round comes to a close, he finds himself in a share of top spot. Absolutely, Luke. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.